Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. It's Anthony from Anthony and Harry Games, and today's video we're going to be showing you guys how you can add consoles, no, consoles, how you can add shaders to Minecraft PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Bedrock Edition. So, this video is going to be very short, well not too short, but it's going to be short, we're going to be cutting to the chase on how to do it, we're not going to be doing any hacking or modding and stuff like that to the game today, but it's just simple, follow the tutorial, as it goes on the video, I've got to say something first. If you guys don't have Pocket Edition, then it may not work for you. However, I do understand there are some ways out there which you can get cracked versions of Pocket Edition, which will make it easier for you to implement it into the world. Now, unfortunately, a little disclaimer at the moment, I'm still trying to find a way where you can actually save the resource pack to your PlayStation so you can just use it whenever you want. Now, at the moment, I've not been too lucky with that, but as you can see, it's looking quite decent. But I'll get back into it. In the next part of the video. See you guys there. Alright, so guys, obviously once once you've downloaded Minecraft Pocket Edition, what we're gonna do is go to Google Play Store and search up Minecraft mods. I'm not sure if there's an alternative for iOS, but as you see, once you searched up, it should be the first one at the top saying mods add-ons for Minecraft Pocket Edition. So click on that. Now I've already installed it, but what we're gonna do is install it and then open it up. And I'm gonna open it up now. Now this app is completely free, no paid parts on it whatsoever so i'm going to click later but as you see here you've got loads of add-ons loads of skins you can add to the game in pocket edition but these can also be transferred not transferred but they can be used temporarily inside of the console edition now what you want to do you want to go to the type search and type shader not shaders shader that's the most important part of it it's one shader so search sh search it shader then search as simple as that. Don't put shaders because it won't come up with it. Then scroll down. Then you should see it should should say console shader RD2. Now we click on that. Then once you're here, you can see you can read more on it. So they'll see this pack aims to bring uh, obviously using approximation of some techniques used up. Blah 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 blah. And obviously what what it does it enables it to be transferred into the actual game itself, but you can't download it onto the PlayStation or Xbox alone. Now click install, then it will simply take you to an ad which is the most annoying part of it. Yeah, I don't care, I don't play the piano. Then simply click open game and you'll start opening the game and it was as simple as just simply adding it on and once there you go, import has started. Obviously, I've already installed it, but it should say successfully installed. Now, obviously, I'm in settings right now. Just simply go into your settings. Scroll down to where it says global resources. And here it should say my packs. Simply what you want to do is activate it. And come out of there. Click play. Create a new world. New world. Create a new world. It's such a long process now. Continue. Then scroll down to where it says resource packs. Go to my resource packs, go to console shaders, activate, then go to multiplayer, make sure visible to land is on. Make sure that's on. Don't turn it off, make sure it's on. Then if you want, you can just invite only or just friends friends. I'll go have it friends or friends because I'm the only one who's friends myself on this account. So just simply create the world and then now we shall switch over to the PlayStation. Also click proceed. And you'll see it should load in properly onto the Pocket Edition. Now, if it doesn't load in properly on Pocket Edition, it's not going to load in properly on the console. Now, as you can see here, it has loaded in properly for me. Let's pick this up quickly. So let's go through it with you guys. It will be a bit laggy, but on console, it's a whole lot better, a whole lot better experience than it is on here. So anyway, without further ado, let's move on to the PlayStation. Alright now, guys, once you've switched over to your PlayStation, it's simple as just click and play. Scrolling over to friends and scrolling down and you should see your alternate account down at the bottom. Now simply just go on that, click it. It should give you an option to download it. I'm going to move the mark away from my face because I'm shouting a bit. Now it should give you an option to download some maps. But obviously I've already clicked it. So if it asks you to do anything to click yes and OK. So here we are. We should now be in shaders. Here we go. We are now officially loaded in with shaders on console edition. Now, if you don't believe I'm on PlayStation, simply look at this. This is console. Now, as you can see, Anthony Moran 17 is my alternate account. I'll see Anthony Games um, YT is my main account. So I'll see that's the account I use for YouTube and all that sort of stuff. But as you can see, it is 
Minecraft shaders, but it's not the best, obviously, I, I will admit to that. It's not the best, but I know sometimes it may crash as well. So, have they changed this? Have they changed the layout of it? Look at the torches, they're now animated. Has something changed that I'm not aware of? So let's test it with the torches. Do torches like emit like different light? No, they're they're about the same. Do you know what? I love the animations on the torches? Is that just me or have they always been there? As far as I'm aware, these used to be quite squared off, but it looks decent. It looks better than it did do. Right, so as we can see already, there ain't any like actual light shaders, so there ain't gonna be any light bounce around and all that sort of stuff, like ray tracing style stuff. Um, which is a shame. But eventually, maybe for PS5, we could get some proper shaders in for Minecraft. But whether that will happen or not, I, I really doubt it. But hopefully we do. Hopefully we get some sort of option for that with the PlayStation 5. And as you can see, my alternate account is still up there, just standing in the tree. Yeah, by the looks of it, we don't really seem to have a very much like, light bouncing around. It's just pure stock. Like, let's just change the trees. The trees... It's some good animations, makes the game a lot more interesting with these floating trees. And obviously the sky looks a whole, whole lot more interesting and got a new sun. So if you go down here and just walk around a bit. Oh, that water's attacking someone. Now I'm not sure if this water is supposed to be this clear, but my only guess is that it is. I'm just wondering if there's a way to add animations to it. Could I be doing something wrong? Can I change it? But as you can see, there is some slight animation to the water. It isn't the best, obviously. But as you can see, there's a little bit of shader texture to it. You can see some little waves. But obviously, it's a PlayStation 4. It's not going to be running much. This shader was designed for Pocket Edition. And obviously, your phone isn't going to be able to run full-on shaders similar to that of Optifine on Java Edition. Now, maybe in the future. But without further ado, guys, I'm going to wrap the video up there. Sorry if I spoke too fast this video. Hope you enjoyed it. We're back to tutorials, guys. This is a very nice seed, you know, if I'm honest. It's we're back to tutorials very quickly. Um Tutorial Tuesday is back. Finally. We went for it for ages. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be trying to find ways so we can permanently add these to console. I'll be trying to find ways doing more research ready for the next week's tutorial Tuesday. And then hopefully we can get that done and to you guys as soon as possible. So, let's end the video here now, guys. Like, subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Turn notification bells on. We're trying to hit 1,500 by the end of March, which obviously is a month away. Not a month away, just over a month away. So, help us hit that milestone, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.